Restore Marriage Testimony Classic Acts of Kindness It's better to live in a corner of a roof than in a house shared with a contentious woman. Proverb 21, 9 Isabel, how did your restoration journey actually begin? One day I realized that my husband, Brenda and I, were getting more and more distant, fighting a lot, and getting days and days without talking to each other. I started to think about what would be wrong with us. In some moments I thought that due to the fact of being married for almost 20 years, it would be natural such circumstances. But I got quite bothered every time I sought him for reconciliation and he didn't show any interest in this. At that time I hardly knew that my contentiousness had undermined my marriage and led a completely in love husband for me not only to never want to see me anymore in his life, but also to seek in other women that I refused to let happen. When Brandy finally opened up about not loving me anymore and not caring about his ministry in our church, my world fell down. Because although I was contentious and emotionally immature, I always loved Randy very much. So I started to read books about the power of prayer and putting in practice the teachings I was learning about seeking the Lord with all my heart. I also began to devour books of Christian writers about marriage and thank God everything I read was of great help for me to see who I really was. Randy was using the excuse of working in another state to stay at his parents' house. He used to be home once a month or less. In this meantime, I sought Lord in prayer and fasting and convinced my husband to talk to a pastor we knew as a man of God. He agreed, but it was only for the sake of conscience, so to not say that he had given up without trying. Each one of us went to talk to the pastor alone, and that my conversation with this pastor was a turning point for me because it was the first time I became aware of the prejudiced and contentious person I was, and of the great need of changing in order to allow God to restore my marriage. From there, I intensified the fast so that I lost weight about 30 kilo or 66 pound. Rand noticed my change and he told me later, but he was still decided to leave home. I clearly realized the power of the enemy has a tie holding him and did not know what to do to make the situation progress. How did God change your situation, Isabel, as you sought him wholeheartedly? It was in the contest that I found on the internet side of our mind and the book How God Can and Will Restore Your Marriage. I absolutely devoured the book. The feeling I have today is that Erin knows me and she wrote the book, the encouragements, the triple R online courses, especially for me, especially the chapters Contentious Woman, One Without Word, and Gentle and Quiet Spirit. Soon, Randy started to notice my transformation, and as God also bothered him and gave him revelations and dreams, I eagerly rushed him and charged him for a decision, but recognized that my biggest fight and my greatest learning is to let God be God. What principles from God's word or through our resources, Isabel, does the Lord teach you during this trial? Reading the book, How God Can and Will Restore Your Marriage, the courses I'm doing course for, reading Psalms and Proverbs, reading the daily encouragements and the praise reports have been essential pieces for my restoration. I have begun all of this only focusing the return of Randy, but I just learned that I already have the best of all husbands who, to call my attention and make me his bride, allowed all this to happen to me. What were the most difficult times that God helped you through, Isabel? 
Some time ago, my heavenly husband took me and Brandy to spend school holidays with each other and to visit our relatives in the other state where he was living. Due to work issues, he had rented a house in the neighborhood of some house he was building. As soon as I entered the house he was leaving, I felt horrible. I sensed another woman's presence there. Later, I found out everything in the laptop he had there. It was so, so hard and humiliating. But today I understand that God allowed all of this to happen for my husband to confess to me everything and observe my behavior in this meantime. My reaction from this moment on motivated and impressed him. Afterwards, he told me that he had lied to the other woman and sent her to her parents under the excuse of her visiting them. He did this to stay with us in the house. Despite of having this conversation with me, I soon found out he continued cheating on me. Again, he went to work out of state. Again, we went there on vacation. There he had made plans to take us to live there with him. It was already all set, job for both of us, school for our kids. But as soon as I came back home, I saw on Facebook that he had taken the other woman again to live with him. When it seemed that all was lost, he was fired. In this meantime, I confronted him sometimes when I knew the other woman was there. Now I see it was a mistake. When one day God shook me, I stopped to talking to Randy about our relationship and turned my attention to the Lord, decided to do everything he told me to, even if it was to allow the break up with my husband. Isabel, what was the turning point of your restoration? From there, all working doors closed for Randy, and he had to return home, kind of forced, because only here he got some work to do. It happened almost a year ago, but because things did not go as a dream, with a romantic apology from my husband, him putting back his wedding ring, I did not recognize that God had restored my marriage. Many times I came to this website to send you my testimony, but as soon as I started to tell the story, I only could focus on Randy's sin, on how I was suffering with all he was putting me through. Then I deleted the text and gave up continuing. Then I suffered for days just to remind me of the situation. It is a totally different feeling today. Not that I feel good to remember that part of my life. But today, I just can see how my Lord has changed me and how much I still need to improve so that He uses me as He wishes in the reconstruction of my home. Tell us how it happened, Isabel. Did Rand just walk in the front door? Isabel, did you suspect or could you tell you were close to being restored? My husband hasn't put back his wedding ring yet. And we didn't have that final conversation as I dreamed of. But in a special program for couples in a church he went to sing, there was a lecture about forgiveness and a moment for husbands to ask their wives for forgiveness. Since I watched almost all the program alone, I didn't dare expect that he would come to me. But surprisingly, he came up to me, hugged me, kissed me and asked for forgiveness on the microphone. There was no talk or other words, but I knew how much it cost him. Above all, I know he was sincere. Since he is home, gradually he is approaching me. When I learned that I should not seduce or chase him and let him go away, he is the one who has sought intimacy with me and has come after me. When he returned home, he didn't tell anything, simply went out, disappeared all day long, but it was changed. Also, I noticed small acts of kindness like buying me feminine products or the brand I like, sleep embrace it to me when before he used it to sleep as far from me as he could with his arms crossed. 
and going out together with our kids. Although these may seem small things, however, they are actually great walls that the Lord comes knocking. I know that in the due time, He will say He loves me and will again use His wedding ring. The Lord promised and He is not a man to lie. Randy never got to leave our home definitely, so nobody besides that pastor, even our kids, knows what was happening to us. I praise my lovely heavenly husband for giving me wisdom and strength to keep the secret. I confess that in the beginning I did for the shame. I understand now that was the reason I went through so much was to learn that all that matters is to be with my real husband, my beloved, my heavenly husband. He's all I want, all I need, and all for what I live. Will you recommend any of our resources in particular that helped you, Isabel? Reading and rereading the book, How God Can and Will Restore Your Marriage, the daily encouragements and devotionals have been essential to my journey. In addition, the courses have also played a very important part in my transformation. Thanks to the love of my beloved, I am not the same person anymore, so I will always be willing to answer the call of my Lord, my beloved, and help other women who are also going through this journey. Would you be interested in helping encourage other women, Isabel? Yes. Either way, Isabel, what kind of encouragement would you like to leave women with in conclusion? My dearest ones, we have a real and through God. He never fails, but do not forget that just like Abraham had to wait 25 years to see God's promise fulfilled in his life, it was because he needed to be transformed, needed to have faith enough. So it is with us. Do not fight with him. Surrender and let him do what it takes to take you to him. Seek him with all your heart and stop chasing your earthly husband. You are not able to take care of him. Only God can. You are not able to change either yourself or your husband. So give your life in the hands of this wonderful God. Love and know the best husband a woman can have. He will take care of you, your earthly husband, and your children.